This facility has the potential of creating over 100,000 direct and indirect jobs through our growers and through small scale uh, holder farmers. It is my hope that this investment will contribute to continued economic prosperity for Ghanaians and help ensure that future generations are not affected by nutritional deficiencies that can affect learning, growth, and health. This afternoon's ceremony is in fulfillment of the promise by government in partnership with the private sector to set up at least one medium to large scale enterprise in every district of Ghana. For Queen's Plus TV, Sunemi Mobi Bia Aquaba, the next video we did today, we will enter the Nado Dangwa Akufuado Commission, a new food factory built by a company named Premium Food Limited in Ghana. For on the 17th June 2021, and now, 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 the down part of food factory, a seawall, a juice, yeah, company, no, a D, a D premium food limited, yeah, a seawall, just where what under one D, one F, meaning one district, one factory, yeah, now, now, the on more aim, they say, district, be a benya. A uh, food factory, on basic food factory, and what district be a yamia do me just so for a fena or more dear at me abba now more could be a no a more more on the seventeenth June. Nasa a factory is a food factory and a work capacity to blend over ninety six thousand metric tons, which is maize, soya beans, sorghum, and millet. And a sa factory is no is the one of the few manufacturing manufacturing factories with such capacity in West Africa. food factory district one D one F. Na they say I was say you born a nando abasu a juma pa or you move from Taiwan and Thai Papa Nechi na juma pa or you boa or my road me ya me dem say Ghana yes so you be kwe yezi because this street be a food factory a wo wa a be boa or my ne pa ma or my ne ti me a kone ni pa na juma di na selo na nando e de sembi e tuja abu se afu e ni di kwa se yen ti yen ko na yen ko ti semu ema. The establishment of this factory is a concrete manifestation that the new paradigm of economic development which this administration is vigorously pursuing of insisting on value addition, industrial activities within a conducive and business friendly environment can make headway. This afternoon's ceremony is in fulfillment of the promise by government in partnership with the private sector to set up at least one medium to large scale enterprise in every district of Ghana. Premium Foods is a classic example of the critical role agricultural production and value addition play in economic development of countries. The contribution of Premium Foods Limited highlights Ghanaian ingenuity entrepreneurial spirit, as well as the fortitude to succeed no matter the challenge. I'm reliably informed that the company has over the years supplied blended fortified and non-fortified products and ingredients to global organizations, including international relief organizations and multinational food and beverage 
manufacturing companies across Africa, including Feed the Future program under the United States government's Global Hunger and Food Security Initiative. Having invested in this new state-of-the-art manufacturing facility, with the capacity to blend over 96,000 metric tons annually of maize, soya beans, sorghum, and millet. It is gratifying to note that Premium Foods is one of the few manufacturing factories with such capabilities in West Africa. And I hope that very soon it will be said that Premium Foods is one of the few in Africa with such capabilities. Government remains committed to supporting private sector operators like Premium Foods to become globally competitive and thereby take advantage of market integration frameworks such as the Africa Continental Free Trade Area, whose Secretariat has been established and commissioned in Accra. To this end, government, as of December 2020, has granted import duty exemptions to 36 companies under the 1D1F program, amounting to some 435 million CDs. The main sectors that have benefited from the exemptions are agro-processing, ceramics manufacturing, hardware manufacturing, and vehicle assembly plants. Prospective companies Desirable of, desirous of establishing such ventures under the 1D1F initiative are assured of government's unwavering support and I appeal to them to join hands with government in the journey to industrialize Mother Ghana and help create jobs for Ghanaian youth in all parts of the country. Accordingly, Nananum, ladies and gentlemen, I have the pleasure to declare the new factory of Premium Foods Limited duly commissioned. Good news, Emma, Emma, also. Etina, I had a meeting with Bessie, a Yamunia, but my dear, you know, Queen, who waits me a friend, Dorin, and I ne, me knew a dear she would not say, Nelson, a first timer, or but Queen's last TV, so I was here, and it did quite so now I support who nearby. Set Ube subscribe now. I like it now. Comment in this watcher and comment session with us. Thank you for watching.